Hello everyone, welcome back to our third video of the chapter Coordination Compound. Today we will try to learn the crystal field theory. Most of the students have difficulty regarding this topic, so we will try to learn in a very simpler way. Crystal field theory is given by Hans Wethy in 1929. According to him, both the ligand and the central metal atom can be considered as a point charge. There exists electrostatic force of attraction between the ligand and the central metal atom. As we know, the d orbital is known as d zenith orbital, means all the five set has equal energy. But as soon as the ligand approaches, the d zenith city is lost. But how? The electrons from d orbital and the electrons from the ligand when they approach there exists a repulsion due to the similar charge. That repulsion increases the energy of the d orbital and thus the splitting occurs. That five set divided into two categories. Number one, the dx square y square and the dz square with high energy considered as easy set. Similarly, the other three d orbital that is dxy dyz and dzx which is commonly known as t2z or the lower state as we can see the shape of t orbital we have a basic idea the ligand approaches d electrons as we can see the ligand approaches dz square and dx square y square they are directly pointing to the axis because there will be high repulsion so it would be considered as high energy right similarly the ligand approaches dxy dyz and the zx as these electrons are not pointing directly to the axis there will be less repulsion so it is considered as low energy these generate d orbital have equal energy but in presence of ligand their energy increases and because of that d orbital splits into two different level number one that d x square minus y square and this h square that is high energy state commonly known as easy state and the next layer d x y d y z and d z x commonly known as t to z state and there is a average energy layer that is known as berry center the difference between easy and t to z level is delta this delta naught which is the energy gap between easy state and t to z state is nothing but crystal field splitting energy as the dz energy lost extra stabilization energy is developed due to the splitting of d orbital and which is known as crystal field stabilization energy crystal field stabilization energy of a octahedral complex can be found by the next formula so uh, we have a CFSC formula for both octahedral and tetrahedral complex for octahedral complex the formula is minus 0.4 n t2z plus 0.6 n ez delta naught plus pairing energy n2z means the number of electron present in t2z orbital n easy means number of electron in the easy orbital and n dash equal to number of pairing caused by the ligand similarly we have a tetrahedral formula that is minus 0.6 number of electron at easy state plus 0.4 number of electron in the t2z state the formula is uh, quite easy if you can see for octahedral complex the coordination number is 6 so to remember it's always 0.6 that is positive and the other part is negative the tidal complex the coordination number is 4 so look at this 0.4 part which is positive and 0.4 is always belong to the number of t2z state and 0.6 always belong to the number of easy state right so why we need the pairing energy we need the pairing energy because due to the repulsion repulsion of the electron see repulsion of the electron due to the similar surge now they are becoming a pair so to overcome this repulsion will give additional pairing energy 
the repulsion between the EZ state and T2Z state for strong field is very high. So the value of delta naught is very high. Similarly for weak field it is low. In case of D1, D2, D3, D8, D9, D10, the number of pairing caused by the ligand can be considered as zero because if we see the displays the distribution of electron, see this is for strong field. Okay, strong field in case of D1, one electron at T2Z state, no electron at EZ state. See similarly for weak field, one electron at T2Z, no electron for the EZ state. But the difference, look at the difference, difference is, is high and less. Similarly, D2, D3, D8, D9 and D10. Let's take an example D9. So see, we have 9 electrons, 6 electrons at T2Z state, 3 electrons Created with free version for non-commercial use. 6 electrons at T2Z, 3 electrons at EZ state. So if we apply the formula, we'll have the same value of CAFSA. So particularly I have mentioned that D1 up to D1 to Dn excluding the D4, D5, D6, D7 we have this uh, If we see the calculation for D8 for strong field ligand we have 6 electron we have 6 electron in the T2Z state and 2 electron at EZ state. So same story for the weak field ligand. So look at this, look at this calculation. For strong field ligand, if we apply the formula CFSA, the formula would be 0 0.6 into 2. 2 electron belong to the easy state, right? Minus 0 0.4 into 6. 6 electron belong to the T2Z state. We have a value of minus 1.2. Similarly, for weak ligand, same value of minus 1.2. Now, if we look at the case 2, see, the distribution of electrons in octahedral complex for D4, D5, D6 and D7. See, now we have D4 electron. For strong field ligand, so strong field ligand, they love to pair, right? Created so with all free the four electrons at commercial use. State. No electron at easy state. Similarly, but for the weak field ligand, weak field ligand, see, this three electron at T2Z state and one electron at easy state. Because that weak field ligand, the value of delta naught means the repulsion is very less and they don't want to be in pair. Similarly for D5 state, see, D5 state for strong field ligand, there are 5 electrons, all the 5 electrons at the T2Z state and no electron at EZ state. Means the repulsion is very less. Similarly, the repulsion is very less but in case of D5, 2 electron at EZ and 3 electron at T2Z state and this is half filled and considered to be stable one. So according to the formula we can easily get the value of CFAC. Thank you guys. Uh, hope this video has cleared all your doubts regarding CFAC. Uh, I have given the detailed notes in the comment section. Please go through the link. Thank you.